So it says that these wells situated in the ancient tracks, constant temperature, spring fed, historically a place to meet and refresh. And of course, because near the church, I thought it might be like a baptism location, about 70, 700 AD. Uh, and uh, the legend at St. Oswald's death associates his parish churches with healing springs. Um, so there we go. So it's flowing pretty well, there's a lot of water coming through, very clear. The water's just coming out of there, look, and they've constructed this where you can, you know, get your bucket in or whatever and get plenty of water in these deep holes there. And then the, the overflow is coming along this stone bit here or out the end of there, look. So there's plenty of water. It's very clear and it says their constant temperature. So this is this is basically the, the town of Geisley grew around the fact that there was lovely wells here. This, this lovely flow of water coming out of the ground for, for drinking and all that. And uh, this was the, you know, this was the start of it all. So we're talking about like 700 AD, 600 AD, 500 AD, this sort of time, grew around the well. There we go. Just come back up to where the church is there. There's a pub there. A dog grooming place. Another bakery, look. A lovely artisan bakery there. Uh, and then a, um, what's the, like a makeup and beauty salon. And another one. That's a men's one and that's a woman's one, I think, next to each other. Uh, funeral service there. So yeah, and we're coming up to the War Memorial. We'll just see how it's like. It's lovely and flowering out, isn't it? <coughs> they've got the poppies and the reeds and all that, but then they've also got these like heathers and things that are in flower. we we'll just, this is the street with the different shops on I was going to show you. We'll just go and have a look at the War Memorial though first. So yeah, as I say, Christmas time, they do put a crib in there and everything, in you know, all Christmas lights and all that. Right, so let's cross over. And uh, yeah, this look, this, look how ten it's been like looked after. It's all been dug over. Look, the roses have been trimmed back. Uh, it's been freshly dug over. They've got the heathers, lovely in flower, white and and uh, pink. And then they've got other foliage which stands out as well. That's excellent, isn't it? And then the little uh, guysly and bloom boxes as well. Look, flowers in. So we've got the 1914-1918 war, the Falklands war, look, one person on it, Sub-Lieutenant Richard Charles Emley. So one person from Guise who died in the Falklands war. And we've got 1939-1945, so Second World War, and then look at that, 1899-1902. So those who died in the, uh, the Boer War, no, the South African war, dear me. About that, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, what a waste of life, eh? And then the poppies up there, on those old gates, and that up there, look as well. And then I think up here, these are um, retired miners' cottages, and that up here, lovely they are. I don't know if you can see that's their back gardens, but as you can see, uh, Frank Parkinson Yorkshire Trust. Retirement houses, look at the lovely, lovely little houses, little, little cottages, and that there. Yeah, so there we go. That just that's nice, isn't it? And then that's the sort of vista you get straight down that street with the church, and then that goes down to the leisure centre, which was on a previous video. Right, so now we're at the back of guys. I'm gonna have a, we're gonna have a little walk along here and have a look at some of the shops here. Okay, this is the road that goes around the back of Guysley. Uh, of course, got shops on both sides. I'll just maybe cross to this side. You can see some of these buildings are really big, quite high. That's a flower shop. That looks to be empty. That. Looks... Well, look at it. Look at the uh, the stonework on that. West Yorkshire School of Performing Arts. The hairdressers, construction and design shops here. Uh, like a whole set of different offices there. And that one. What's this one? Of a saloon. This is the cafe. Golf shop look, backline golf. And then there's a bistro there, cafe bistro. 
another hair salon. I can't believe how many hair salons there are. And then another one, another hairdresser's. It's a mount hairdresser's, unbelievable, isn't it? A sweet shop. Closing down, look. Final day, 28th of March. 50% off everything. Yeah. What's that one? Indian restaurant. Uh, a, a tailor's look, a professional alteration tailor. Serious stitching. It's interesting, isn't it? Of course, look at the old buildings. There's an uh, oriental kitchen. The stoves and fireplaces, look. Uh, Chevron stoves and fireplaces. Then we've got the Geisley Methodist Church here as well. And I think there's, a, there's an old folks home there, behind there, behind that. Dear me, they've got the radio on loud at that kitchen there, that Chinese kitchen. Dear me. Anyway, so we had long here. Now there's a few more little shops as well in the school along here. So we'll just run here. And I think this is where we've got a, like a wheelchair shop, mobility scooters and things like that up this way. So sometimes if the traffic's heavy or when I used to take Stephanie to school, sometimes I used to come this back route way uh, to avoid the main road with a lot of traffic on. So yeah, this is like, uh, it's closed Saturday afternoon, but it's um mobility shop. Uh, there, it often seems quite busy. And then uh, I think there's another school here on this side. And again, fantastic old terraces here, stone terraces, lovely. Terraces. So yeah, it's the big sort of school complex there, I think. Primary school. Look at CRS Fire and Security, that place there. And then that's the big school. You can see the old school building and then there's like extends back from there and then like a newer roof behind it. More modern part of the primary school behind it as it expanded presumably. So that's Geisley Primary School. There. And uh, yeah, we're sort of heading round in a loop to the post office and things around the corner and where the Geisley station is and the station pub. Um, and look at that building there. Now that is the Baptist Chapel, 1883. So that's the Baptist Church, Geisley Baptist Church there. So we've got the, yeah, just past the Geisley Baptist Church and the Methodist Church up there. Coming along now, there's a little uh, corner shop thing here. Premier corner shop. It's a bit scruffy looking, isn't it? Building work going on. Uh, and then again, look at the. Look, I mean, look at that. Look at the look at the, the work on that. The tower in the corner. All the different little roofs and uh, features. To, instead of being like a boring, you know, straight thing, there's like the amount of features and things that are included in building that. And on that side as well, look at it, Oxford Villas, that's called. This is all called Oxford Road that we're on at the minute. And look at these porches and that, the, the stained glass and the, the features on them and everything. It's really amazing, isn't it? I'll just hand back a bit so you can see the quality of the build. Again, here, look at that. Uh, amazing, lovely ornate porches and things there with the stained glass. Yeah. So we're now at the station. So we've come around the loop. We're heading back towards where Morrison's is, basically, in a, like a loop. So the road that goes up on the, the right up here, that takes you to where I used to get the car repaired and things, an MOT, there's a garage up there, uh, which is quite cheap. And uh, if you continue up there, it goes past like nurseries and things like that, up that way, up the hill, towards the Chevin direction. There's also a big Geisley car park there. So this is the train station just here. We're just crossing over the railway bridge right now. So there's another railway bridge. You can probably see the line down there. And then that side, the side of the station. And of course, up that way is the, the mills, which are still operating yet today. It's fantastic that there's actually, uh, that it's a big complex, employs a lot of people still operating. You know, we're 2024 and there's a mill, a textile mill, still operating up there. It's incredible. The Potting Shed pub, look, and this is the station pub. Uh, yeah. So the station itself just there. So we're coming round now, and this is the post office just here, and then this is back onto the main road through Geisley, the A65. So 
and that takes us back round to Morrison. So I've got two rings off Eve just before, so they must be out of spec savers where they've been this afternoon, which is why I'm wandering around just waiting for them. And we're going to go and have a look and meet them back at the car, which is in the Morrison's car park, just near where the doctor's is. So that's the post office. This has been, this was like an interior deco shop, but it's been empty for a while, this one in the corner, which is a bit of a shame. Solicitors, uh, engineering design, carpet centre, bathroom centre. Uh, there's a Domino's pizza up there. So that heads towards Menston up that way. So coming around more, that's estate agents, another beauty shop, I think. Hair studio, yet another hair studio. Uh, Takeaway. And uh, back here again. So we've seen these previous on a previous video, these charity shops and things, and then back down to Morrison's there. So in a previous video, I sort of started off coming out of Specsavers and onto this platform here. So that's where they've been this afternoon. So now I'm just heading, going to try and cross over and meet them back at the car down there. So that's good. So there's a lot of roadworks here. Every time Yorkshire Water have been coming and um, repairing it, there's been like a leak, but it doesn't seem like it's Yorkshire Water. It actually seems to be putting bollards up and widening the path and all that. Uh, but to be honest, they're probably digging it up in five minutes for another Yorkshire Water leak. Anyway, there we go. Right, so we're gonna head back to the car up there.